Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Will you please, please take your seats and clear the aisles. Thank you. Thank you and welcome. Welcome back to the Guru Show. I am your host, the Guru of Sports. <laughs> Hey, it's Sunday. It's week 13 in the NFL. And I like to say, hey, everybody, this is it. This is it. You know what this is, right? It's game over for some fantasy players, but then again, it's game on for some fantasy players. This is week 13, which is means, which, uh, which means, anyway, which means it is the regular season ending for most fantasy leagues, and playoff starts next week. Now, when we get into the fantasy corner, we'll explain all that stuff. But anyway, I am your host, the guru of sports, and like usual, I have two sidekicks with me, and one of them isn't here today. Kaden Guru is not here. He'll be back next week. And my buddy, my friend, the one and only, Goaty is here. Here's Goaty. Goaty is here. He's always here. He's my sidekick, and he always helps me out with this stuff. And I I wanted to tell you guys, Goaty did okay. He actually spelled that out this week. Proud of you, Goaty. You did good. I'm proud of you. You did good. Crazy goat. You did good. I'm proud of you. And I, I, I appreciate you, you trying to do your efforts around here. Anyway, like usual, Guru is always right. <laughs> always right and always perfect in his picks. And if you were listening to the show last week, you remember Guru saying that he thinks that Dallas is going to go down to New Orleans and beat New Orleans and they did, and it was a shocker because actually Guru uh, has Drew Breezy on his fantasy team, and Drew Breezy didn't do too good. But hopefully, it'll be enough to get the win in the fantasy core. Anyway, but like I said, we talk about, we got four segments of the show. First segment of the show, let me adjust our glasses here, make sure that I can see you guys. I see you. Hi, guys. Anyway. First segment of the show is always called the Fantasy Corner. Now, I got some comments for Fantasy Corner for this week. But anyway, it also Fantasy Corner. We go to do the poo poo of the week, uh, the Guru's famous picks, and then we take well, I'll take that bet, and then we talk about stuff at the end of the show, and then we're out of here. All right. Anyway, so what we're gonna do first off. Let's talk about the fantasy corner. Fantasy corner. Fantasy corner. See that? Okay. Now, what happened uh, in Kansas City is unfortunate. This is, has a lot of uh, fantasy implications. Um, Kareem Hunt was let go from the Kansas City Chiefs because of, of alleged, I'm not sure, I haven't seen anything, but... I've read a couple things about him having some domestic violence uh, problems. First of all, I want to say we hopefully this this kid can get some help here, and we don't that, that it's not it's uncalled for. It is uncalled for. You cannot put your hands on a woman. Period. And believe me, I've seen a couple leagues where people have dropped him and people have kept him. But you know what? I'm sorry. He can't play for me in any of my fantasy teams because I can't support anyone that beats on women. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, mm -hmm. fantasy fantasy corner and that, that's that's uh you know, that's that's very very serious stuff. Anyway, so Spencer Ware and I think there's a couple other guys, I'm not sure Kansas City's roster, but I they got a super team. They're really good, and uh, Kansas City, we wish you the best of luck anyway. Anyway, so that's a fantasy corner. So, which brings us to 
the poo poo of the week. Now, who do you think I'm going to get a poo poo of the week to? Who lost seven straight games? You tell me. Jacksonville, you get the poo poo of the week. Matter of fact, my dog is coming in here to show you something. Come in here, dog. Hey, Alex. Alexander, how are you, buddy? Hey, there he is. See, he's in a nightgown. He's, hi, buddy. I love you. That's Miss Guru in the background giving the claps. Anyway, clapping. And anyway, right, she loves you. I love you, Alex. How you doing, buddy? Hi, buddy. This is Alexander. See? Alexander. He's, he's my buddy. He's my buddy. Yeah, he is. That's him. Anyway, poo poo of the week. Oh, yeah. Where's Mr. Poo poo? What? <laughs> Mr. Poo poo is off today. What is he doing off? He can't take no days off. We were right in the middle of the season. What is wrong with Mr. Poo poo? I'm going to have a talk with him next week. All right, Alex, I love you. All right, see. Okay, anyway, Alexander is in here. What, what, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. What did you do, Alex? What? <laughs> poo poo of the week. He took off, but he left us this. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. He left us a poo poo of the week. Anyway. Jacksonville, I'm sorry, you get it again, poo poo of the week, and you see I'm holding this in my hand after Alexander left this for me, anyway, I, I, I can't, I, I'm just done with you guys, you guys are, it's, it's over, now, question, are you going to lose eight straight, that's the big question, I don't know, I, I, just, I just, I'm done with you Jacksonville, I, I, I just can't believe you didn't just turn your season and and Leonard Fournette. That's his name, right? Leonard Fournette, right? Yeah. Anyway, Leonard Fournette's bad, bad, bad in Jacksonville. I tell you, like I, I want to tell you one thing. Well, there's one thing I have to explain to you guys. Nobody is safe with the guru. If you're bad, I'm gonna talk about you. That's how it goes. That's the way it is. The scoreboard indicates if you're bad, you're bad. That's right. You go out there and you play to win the game, like Coach Edwards would say. Anyway, Jacksonville, I got something for you. This is for your season in a nutshell. This is your season. Shame. 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 That's, that's all I can say. That's all it, it comes down to. It all boils down to that. It's just shameful. Shame, shame, shame on you, Jacksonville. I am just disappointed. As everybody in Jacksonville down in Duval, we're all disappointed. That's it. We're done. We're done. Anyway, that is the poo poo of the week. And I'm going to be getting on Mr. Poo poo about taking days off. And especially the Sunday show day off when he gets back here. If he comes back here. He better come back. But he, he, he's coming back. Okay, he's coming back. Anyway. All right. Now, like I said, we, oh, we turn around here. Mac is back. Yeah, Mac is back. See, Mac is back. But he's not in Oakland. No, he's not in Oakland. He's still in Chicago. Anyway, dog mask back there. You know why that dog mask back there? Because he represents Philadelphia fan. Oh, did I tell you? Oh, yeah. We're coming to you live from a secret location, far, far away from Philadelphia fan. Because Philadelphia fan gets a little rowdy, and you know what's going to happen to them when they get to get, when you don't mention them or whatever. Anyway, now, let's get back on track. All right, now, we got the world famous, world famous, no doubt. World famous Guru's Picks of the Week. Guru's Picks of the Week. That's right. 
brought to you by Guru, sponsored by Guru, and all things is about Guru. Anyway, it's about me, but then again, it's not about me. We'll tell you later in the show. But anyway, let's get us get get to the picks of the week. Guru's picks of the week. Anyway, how did we do last week? Hey, where's Mr. Hand at? Is he taking a day off? Mr. Evil Hand taking a day off? He's not taking the day off. Okay, good, good. Where is he at? Oh, there he is. Evil Hand, that's him. Hi, <laughs> right, Mr. Evil Hand. You can't talk, so don't say anything. All right, Mr. Evil Hand, how did the guru do last week? Huh? How did the guru do last week? What are you, what are you looking for? Huh? Good. Get in here. Oh, guru was perfect last week. That's right. Thank you, Mr. Evil Hand. Appreciate you. Now get out of here. Anyway, Mr. Evil Hand, we appreciate you, and I'm glad that somebody other than me and Goaty came to work today and do this, this show. All right, now, because Mr. Mr. Evil Hand said that Guru's always right, and he's always perfect. That's right, always right, and always perfect. That's right, that's Guru. Always right and always perfect. Oh, don't hide the dog mask. <laughs> anyway, um... We want to tell you that uh, we are always right and always perfect on our picks. And that these picks are only for entertainment purposes. Don't go out there and be like Joe Gambler and gamble all your money away. But then again, if you want to take some of Guru's picks, take some of Guru's picks. Because he's always right and always perfect. Always right and always perfect. <laughs> anyway, Guru crazy. <laughs> Guru like laughing at himself anyway. Anyway, let's get down to the meat and gritty of Guru's Picks of the Week. All right. Baltimore at, is going to Atlantis. At, Atlantis? Atlantis? Atlanta. Atlanta. Anyway. Uh, anyway, Guru has problems with pronouncing names sometimes and cities, city names sometimes. But anyway, Baltimore is going down to Atlantis and we're going to take Baltimore. Hey, Guru. Oh, oh, there you go, Goody. I was going to say, Goody, uh, are you going to be late today or what? You're on time. All right. Denver is going to Cincinnati's. Now, Cincinnati's looked really bad last week against Cleveland's. And at home, no doubt. And uh, Hugh Jackson, huh, he was uh, greeted by a few of his players when they were intercepting balls and making Cincinnati look bad. So we're going to go with Denver's Goaty. <laughs> anyway, L-A-R. Oh, I meant to tell you too. There's no bye week. This is no, everybody plays today except for uh, uh, Washington and Philadelphia. They play on Monday night. Anyway, where were we at? L-A-R and Detroit. Now, I got friends in Detroit. My friends in Detroit never let me down. So, I think it's time for an upset. We're going to go with Detroit to beat LAR. If they can. <laughs> if they can. All right. Cleveland with a big win last week. And guess what? Cleveland had more wins than Jacksonville. Now, Jacksonville was uh, five minutes away from the Super Bowl. And Cleveland didn't win any games last season. So Cleveland is going into Houston. And guess what? I'm still going to go with Houston because they got the longest winning streak in the NFL right now. Houston. Thank you, Goody. I thought you were asleep there. Indianapolis is going into Jacksonville. And how do you think I feel about this game? That's right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving up on Jacksonville this season. I'm sorry, Duvall. I love you guys, but I can't see this. Go, keep going on, but then again, it will keep continuing to go on. I would say Indianapolis is going to win this game. Buffalo's at Miami, a divisional game, and Buffalo's looked really good last week, putting it to Jacksonville, but they barely won. But still, I like Buffalo's. I got friends in Buffalo. My man Rick is up in Buffalo. I'm going with Buffalo. Uh, and Buffalo and them, them Sabres. Oh, you can't say, oh. Anyway. The Buffalo's hockey team is really good. And I'm 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 starting to start to rub off on me. I'm starting to get a little bit attached to the Buffalo teams. But 
I actually, we'll we'll talk about it and ask the guru. Anyway, Buffaloes, we're going to go with you. Chicago's at New York G. New York G, you had the game last week and you gave it away. We got to go with the Mac. The Mac is back. We're going with Chicago's. Carolina's at Tampa Bay. Now, Tampa Bay, switching quarterbacks left and right. I mean, changing them like the weather, the season it is. And the season says Carolina's going to win this game on the road. Kansas City and Oakland, Kansas City. New York J versus Tennessee in Tennessee. Tennessee is really good at home. We're going with Tennessee. I thought they played early this season. I don't know if they did or not. Anyway, Minnesota is going into New England. And New England, you know who is on New England. All right, Goody. Goody going crazy. Look at him. He mentioned the word Tom Brady and he goes crazy. That's right. <laughs> Goody is crazy anyway. This whole show is crazy. You know that. <laughs> this, if you turn tuning in for the first time, you can see this is all we do. We crazy. We we go crazy. Anyway, we like New England and Tom Brady. <laughs> San Francisco is at Seattle. Seattle. That's right. Seattle. Seattle. Well, no, no, it's not Seattle. Ooh, can't say that word. Anyway, it's Seattle's. And we're going to go with Seattle's. <laughs> oh, big game Sunday night. Sunday night, uh, LAC is going into Pittsburgh. And this is going to be a really good game. We got. I, I got to tell you about this. After this, after we finish this, anyway, I'm going with LAC on the road, going to Pittsburgh and beating Pittsburgh. Washington's at Philadelphia. Now, the only way that you can bury Philadelphia is beat them at home. You beat them at home, this will bury them. And they have no chance of coming back for a playoff bid or repeating or repeating as world champs that they say that they are. I've heard that somewhere. They say they're world champs. I I, I, I still can't believe it. Anyway, they do have that trophy back there. That's behind the, the, the horsey or dog head back there. Anyway, we're going to go with Washington to pull the upset. And go into Philadelphia's and probably eliminate them. Anyway, okay. Now, that was Guru's Picks of the Week. Oh, what you see right here. Victory Cigar. Victory Cigar goes out to Philip Rivers. Did you see his performance? He broke two records last week for most completions to start the game by a quarterback. And... The man was outstanding. I watched the game, and actually, I covered the game for Ella. Uh, for I'll tell you who in a minute. Anyway, I covered the game, and I was amazed by these stats. And I got a chance to watch some of the highlights. Didn't get the chance to see the whole game, but Philip Rivers was outstanding. Uh, Twenty-five straight. Completions to start the game. That was all, uh, broken the all-time record or so. And they were looking outrageous. Oh, outstanding. Out, not outrageous. You know what I mean. Outstanding. But anyway, Victory Cigar goes to Philip Rivers. Anyway, LAC uh, is going into Pittsburgh, and I'm taking LAC in that game. Anyway, I covered it for uh, Cali Sports News, and that's who I write for. Anyway. If you want to check out the best of California sports, Lakers, uh, Rams, Chargers, uh, uh, oh, did I say all those names? Oh, I said all, oh, anyway, anyway, LA sports, all the LA teams, except for the college teams, and we're going to work on the college teams also, but anyway, all the professional sports teams in LA, uh, the Kings, the Ducks, 
uh, can't say uh, anyway. Anyway, all those teams. You, you check out Cali Sports News. Check out my man Mario. And like I said, love you, Mario. Appreciate you, and thank you for giving the give, giving this guy, this crazy guy, a place on your staff. Anyway, so we're got to we wrap that up. Oh yeah, I'll take that bet. I'll take that bet that Indianapolis will go into Jacksonville and beat them again and eliminate them from any possible playoff implications. I am done with Jacksonville. I'm, I'm so sorry. I can't. I can't. Ask the guru. Ask the guru anything. What do you want to ask the guru? Oh. Oh, I did have a... Oh, yeah, I did. I had a, I had a, uh, a letter here. From a young lady, um, Jane, Jane, plain Jane. Anyway, Jane says, Guru, you are utterly and completely a fool. And this is, this is actually what it says. Anyway, so I, I want to say, Jane, thank you. I appreciate that. And then you're right. You're totally right. I am a fool. I am crazy. And I do all this crazy stuff because I like doing it. Anyway. It goes down and say, Guru, complete, uh, we continue success and we love your show. We think that you're funny, you're a fool, and that you always seem to make the listener or the people out here look good. And yeah, I, I do. Yes, yes. I appreciate this thing. Thank you. Jay, I do. Because you know what I do? I try to make this show as crazy as possible for you guys to watch it and to sit up and laugh and do something funny. But like I said, laugh. Laugh, just laugh, just laugh. You know this show's a train wreck. You know this, uh, this is all Guru does. He's a train wreck. This is all he does. Anyway, I'm, I'm still gonna get on Mr. Poo Poo about taking a day off. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm just not very, very uh, appropriate taking off in the middle of the week or middle of the season. Anyway, ask the Guru. Ask Guru anything. Somebody asked the Guru what television shows you watch. Oh, it's pretty simple. Uh, I love Shameless. Shameless is funny as I don't know what. Um, right now, uh, Ray Donovan. I love Ray Donovan. I love SWAT. I love SWAT. Uh, SEAL Team. Anything that has to do with the United States Navy, I'm watching it. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, and speaking of which, The Last Ship, we have to give them a victory cigar because The Last Ship uh, wrapped, up their se uh, wrapped up their series a couple weeks ago, and I really was a big Last Ship guy because... You know, the guru was on a battleship. Anyway, the greatest battleship in the world. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you all veterans for your service. And again, we, we did Veterans Day, didn't we? Did we do Veterans Day? Yes, we did. Anyway. So, well, we're about ready to get up out of here. And like I said, always, when we get ready to get up out of here, this is actually one of my favorite parts of the show. This has got to be my favorite part of the show. When I have to give out props and thank you, big props. Where's the big props at? I said big props, big props to everybody. Thank you and big props to everyone out there. Thank you all for watching the guru and putting up with the guru and putting up with his foolishness and his craziness for another week. We appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, I meant to tell you that um, uh, I haven't forgot about the podcast. I'm still going to work on the podcast. Probably going to be out of season because there's a whole lot of stuff to do getting this show together. I know it might not seem like, but it's it's a whole lot to get this show together. Plus other commitments that the guru has. So anyway, that's what it's telling me to wrap it up. It's telling me to keep, you know, wrap it up because uh, we're getting ready to get up out of here. Anyway, I, and thank you for that. Anyway, thank you and big props. All right. Now, we got to give uh, shout outs. Shout outs to our friends that always watches the show. Uh, shout outs to all the people that make this show do what it is. We appreciate Ray Guru for the music always. Ray Guru, thank you. We appreciate you. And go down the list. Shout outs. Here we go. Aaron, Jeff D, Jeff Brown, Mario. Mario, we appreciate you. Cali Sports News, if you want them, on Online, like I said, Josh in Detroit, 
Bella B, always watch. We appreciate you, Bella. We love you up there in Calgary. We love Calgary. We love Canada. We love Mexico. We love the whole world. Lenny, Jody, Joe, Jody, uh, big, big props to Dallas in that win. Okay, Joe, uh, Chris K, you know who you are. Chris K, my man. Anyway, Chris in the 228, Dante Guru, Ray Guru, as always, Ms. Guru, Ray Jennings, thank you, Ray, for letting me be on uh, part of your 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 group there, and I appreciate you. And we're gonna work on some things and get get this thing going. Anyway, appreciate you, Ray. Thank you for letting me be in the league. Darius, Jake Matthews, Mom Guru, Dad Guru, Ray to Mike. Well, I salute you, Ray to Mike. You I mean, you know what you do. We appreciate you, uh, Mr. Richmond Webb, our future Hall of Famer. He's always watching. We appreciate you, Mr. Webb. Sheila V. Skip McClendon, former NFL player, Cincinnati and Indianapolis. We appreciate you. Thank you. Tether in Green Bay. Rick in Buffalo. You know what it is. Matt got your back. My man Dale, I talked to you yesterday. Thank you, Dale. Mike Scott, and there's an opening for our high school football, and Guru has denied any coaching opportunities. Anyway, uh, Kevin in Detroit. We love Detroit. FBI Mike, we love you in Toledo. Uh, Charlie Rogers, OJ's friend, Charlie, oh, love that handle, I love that handle, JC in Calgary, like I told you, we love you up in Calgary, Mama Cass, shout out Mama Cass, love you, like I said, my peeps at CSN, remember, Cali Sports News, take care of all the LA stuff, anyway, so Mama Cass, uh, it's peeps at CSN, the Miano Pan, Bodie and Paraline, Paraline, Texas, Christy M., you know, she, she's a great gal. Miss J. Brown, Lewis in Detroit, we appreciate you. My man, Luke in Fort Collins, we appreciate you. Thank you, Luke, for everything. Rick Hall in the 302. Oh, that's real close to me anyway. We appreciate, appreciate you, Rick. Uh, Guinea Rutherford, we appreciate you. Nurse Guinea. Steph, Mike Ben, uh, my peeps at the EE, they know who they are. Daryl, Terrence. And Greg, appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, who else did we do? We Keith George, we appreciate you watching. And John Lawrence, we appreciate you. Like I said, we got to get up out of here. Oh man, we done ran over a long time. Anyway, thank you, Goldie. Thank you, Goldie. Goldie says thank you. Now, something that uh, somebody also asked me: What kind of music do you like? I love David Bowie. That's right. David Bowie was one of my favorite guys. I, you know, I, I like rock. I like rap. I like Christian music. I, I, I listen to everything. But uh, one thing I wanted to say is that something that we all look forward to, and it might not come to everybody, but then again, it's like, hey, success is what you make it. You make your own success in this world. Go out and do something good. Like I said, this is a guru. This is a guru signing off. And we're going to take you out of here with some David Bowie today. That's right. Take you out with some David Bowie. Come on, get this thing going. You know what it is. Fame. Fame. This has been a Black Goat production in association with Black Goat Entertainment. I am the Guru. Signing off. Caden Guru will be back next week. We appreciate you. We're Freeway Close. We're always on your radio. TV, station, oh, social media, Guru at Black Goat 39. Black, Black Goat 39 is uh, Goaty. Guru's at Goat 39. Facebook Daily Shorts. Instagrams. Come see us. Follow us. We'll see you. Have a great day. Have a great football Sunday. Get out there and have some fun. Guru will see you next week. The Guru will see you. Real soon. See the eyebrows. We're doing that. That means we're out of here. Have a great Sunday. See you soon.